Hello everyone, this is Asher Dupre, and today I am working- I am on the third episode of the series about ciphers and how to crack them. Um, today we're looking at tr different transposition ciphers, a cipher that is encrypted and decrypted using a general rule that applies to all the words in the message. We will cover the Railfan cipher, the route cipher, and the FL slide cipher, which was invented by me, so probably I'd never heard of it, ever. Um, <clears throat> rail fence ci cipher, Requi what's required to decipher it, the coded message, and the number of rails used by Greeks. A rail is just a line. So testing, testing, one, two, three, with rails three would be written like this. T-E-S-T-I-N-G, T-E-S-T-I-N-G, one, two, three, and then X is just a word to even it out, or just a letter to even out the uh, spacing. So, as you can see, this is a box made with three rows, so that's the thing. And then, what you want to give to your recipient <clears throat> after making this box is the first line, the second line, and then the third line. So, T-T-G-S-N-2. T T G S N two and then E I T T G three E I T T G three and then S N E I one X which is at the bottom and then tell them that it's Rails three and then to decode it they just take the message split it into since there's three rails they split it into three equal groups and then make it into a box and then read it T E S T I N G T E S T I N G one two three X. Then they can just assume that the X is a uh, dead letter that doesn't mean anything. And testing, testing is one two three as the message that they receive. The next cipher is the route cipher. Um, the modified version of this was used during the American Civil War. If we take testing, testing, one, two, three again, we write it out in the same way as we did with the last cipher. Testing, testing, one, two, three, like this. Testing, testing, one, two, three. <clears throat> and then you just give them a route to follow. My route that I chose for this one was read from right to left, starting with the bottom right corner. So we start with X, and we read right to left. And then we go up to the next line, right to left, next line, right to left. So, very simple. Um, and what you get when you do that is X1IE, X1IE, NS3G, you just write all that out. And then you have to give them the dimensions for them to be able to crack it. You have to give them 6 by 3. So for someone to be able to crack it, you need to give them the route, the code, and the dimensions. <clears throat> so if we look at how to solve it, we read from right to left starting with the bottom corner. So <clears throat> with the six by three, we start with X one I. So if it's six by three, we need six by three. We made this box. Then we fill in the first row with X one I E, X one I E, because we're writing from right to left, not left to right like normal. I E N S, and then we go to the this, that, this next one, which is 3 G T T I E, then this next one, which is 2 N S G T T, and then we just read it like we did with the other one. So that's the route cipher how to encrypt and decrypt. Um, FL slide cipher. This one was invented by me. This is an example. This is, uh, testing an example cipher, which is what we, the text that we're going to be encrypting. What you do <coughs> is you t remove all of the um, last and first and last letters. That's what FL stands for, first, last. So it's the first, last slide cipher. You might be able to guess what it does from there. You take all the uh, first and last letters out. So T, G, E, E, because example, you ignore two and one letter words. So A and AN would be examples of words that you ignore. So you'd take T G E E C R out of it. So T G E E C R. And that's, if you look at that, that's key zero. Now you're basically going to be doing what you do with the Caesar cipher, 
And you're going to see with key 1, we take the R out of the front and move it back to the back and shift everything forward. With key negative 1, we take the the um, G, I mean the T, and we move it to the front and move everything backwards. So that is the... Sorry, I messed that up. That is the... That is the basics of it. And so then you take your, if you want to use key 1, you would take this. You could shift it farther, you could do key 2 or whatever, but with key 1, R, T, G, E, E, C, and then you just put those letters and fill them into the first and last letters. So, Eston, An, ex X, Ample, If, A, would then, you'd put the, if you're using key 1, you'd put the R in here, so R in there, the T in there. You keep the an there. You put the yeah. You'd put the g in there, then the e in, and then the next e in, and then the c in. That would fill in all the blanks that you have, and that is what you'd give to your recipient. Key equals one. Restant an g zample zample eific. Then you go to continued. Key equals one. Restaurant. This is the. Uh, this is decrypting it now. Look at this. Uh, this is the code that we just made in the last one. We give it to somebody, for them to decrypt it. They write out the first and last letters. So R T G E E C. They write that out. They shift it by a negative one because the key is one. So they have to do it opposite of that, and then they end up with T G E E C R. Which then, when they when they rewrite the message without the ends, and then write it with the new ends in order, you get testing an example cipher, which was the original message. So that covers the route cipher, the rail cipher, and FL slide. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and you can click here for episode one. Click here for episode two. Episode one, we discussed the intro to ciphers, and episodes two, we we episode two, we discussed the visioneer cipher. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.